Hi friends! Welcome to this week's bonus video. Thank you so much to Wix for sponsoring today. I am going to be showing you guys how to build your own art portfolio using Wix. It is really, really straightforward and I am so happy with how my website looks. So keep on watching to see the entire tutorial. Wix is an online platform that allows creators and businesses to build a professional website to suit their needs. Whether it serves as an online store, portfolio, or both, Wix has tons of options available for whatever you're looking for. So to begin, after you've created your account, Wix will prompt you through a couple different options to help narrow down what kind of website you want to build. For today's video, I'll be walking you through how I created and designed my own art portfolio website to showcase my illustrations. The amazing thing about Wix is that you do not need to know HTML or how to code. There are hundreds of ready-made templates that you can choose from. And for my website, I knew I wanted something really clean and bold. So after choosing the preferred template, you can click the button in the top right-hand corner to begin customizing. On the right hand side, you'll see the customizing menu where you can add new pages, features and upload your content. The top button, which is the site menu, allows you to navigate between all your different pages. You can choose to keep the existing pages or change and add pages to suit your needs. For my portfolio, I decided I wanted to change the page client to work. This way I could display my personal illustrations. What I really love about using the Wix editor is that when you make any changes, it updates immediately for you to see. It is also very intuitive. As you can see here, I just selected and dragged the cursor to extend the boundary box for my website menu. Then to delete the shopping cart icon, I just right clicked and deleted it. While the ready-made template looks great already, by selecting the paintbrush icon, there are tons of other designs that you can choose from. And if you're ever unsure about a feature, click the question mark icon and there will be an explanation of what the feature is and how to use it. From here, I decided I wanted to change the background slash border. Wix has lots of patterns and backgrounds available for you, but you can also upload your own image or in my case, since it's just the border, I decided to go with a solid color instead. Next, I wanted to focus on adapting the contact form at the bottom of the page. For me, I use platforms uh, such as Instagram and YouTube, so I went ahead and deleted the icons that I didn't need. Then I clicked the add icon button. I can search for YouTube because I knew I wanted the icon to be white to match the Instagram icon and so that it fit into the overall design of my website. And then from there, you can add in your URLs and voila, the icons are linked. Then I wanted to tackle the header of the website. Adjusting and changing elements on the website is very straightforward. I just click the text and from there I can adjust what it says, the size and the color and placement all within seconds. For consistency, I chose to keep the two fonts being used in the template, which was Lulo, Clean and Futura. Then to change the header icon, I click change image where a window will pop up to allow me to upload media from my computer. Then from there, I can drag and resize it to my liking. Another thing that I love about the Wix editor is that you can move items around and you can see the guidelines pop up, then it helps you indicate if an element is centered or not. After that, I go ahead and uploaded more of my illustrations from my computer to add to the gallery homepage. All I had to do was delete the existing placement images and when I upload my new ones, it automatically places the images into the gallery. Then from there, I update the titles, of the images and add a description for each one listing the medium and the year the painting was created. Now we can move on to the next page, which is the about page. Similar to the header icon from the home page, I can select and drag the placement image to where I want it. The great thing about this is as you'll can see, after I've placed in my new image, I'm able to resize and recrop it within the editor as well, rather than having to adjust the image and upload it again. I could have even had the image to be a circle or a different shape if I really wanted to as well. Then from there, just like the header, I can update and change the text with my own information. 
And in keeping with the overall design of the website, I keep the body text font as Futura and for the headers, I continue using Lulo Clean, but I change the color to the baby pink to match the rest of my branding. Then from there, we can move on to the next page, which was previously titled clients, but now have renamed to work. Here we can take advantage of their photo album feature. After double clicking the little blue header and the get started button, the photo album app will launch in a new window. Here it will prompt some design choices that includes a few different designs for the cover and how you want the images to be presented. The example that you'll see here is a photo album for wedding pictures, but for us, we are going to use it as another gallery for my illustrations. And in keeping with the website's design, I choose to use the same two fonts for consistency. What I like about the photo album feature is that it functions as a gallery on your website, but the album itself can also be directly shared to individual people. Having the option to password protect the images is a great option if you wanted to showcase a preview to a client or you wanted someone to review your content before making it public to your website. For today's video, of course, we can publish it right away and have it ready to go on our portfolio page. Now, something that I also wanted to show you is that you can also upload images straight into your Wix website from other places other than your computer, such as Google Drive or Instagram, for example. After you link your Instagram profile to Wix, you just select the images you want and set up the photo album just as we did before. Now, we've got three photo albums that display my work as collections. Also, at any point during the process, you can click the preview button in the top right hand corner to see what your website will actually look like. And thankfully, Wix automatically saves periodically as you work, but you can always turn that option off if you'd like. The next feature I wanted to show you guys is implementing your Instagram feed directly onto your website. On the right hand side, by selecting the Wix app market, you can search for Instagram and here you can quickly add in an Instagram grid. There you can link your Instagram page to your website and you can also adjust how you want the grid to showcase your images as well as the design elements. Then for the last page, I wanted to show you guys that you can even include your YouTube channel directly onto your Wix website. Select the plus sign icon or the add button and under the drop down menu, select video. Here you can choose from these different video templates in which you want your channel to be displayed. From there, you can add your individual YouTube videos by copying and pasting the URL into this video window. After you've linked all your YouTube videos, you can add in the title, description, and cover image. Then, similarly to the other design elements of the Wix editor, from there, we can fine tune the design features to fit the rest of the website's design. I love that this feature allows viewers to watch my YouTube videos directly on the website rather than having to be directed to go to another one. After you've completed designing your portfolio, you can hit the publish button in the top right hand corner and hooray, now you have a beautiful art portfolio. I think that having an art portfolio is the perfect way to showcase your work to potential clients and companies in a professional manner. I am so grateful to be in the creative industry today because we have so many more tools and resources available to us at our fingertips. I spent years avoiding making a portfolio like this because I didn't want to go through the difficult task of learning how to code or did I have the funds to hire someone to do it for me. But now with Wix's editor option and ready-made templates, I'm able to build a website and customize it in a way that still fits my brand and suits my work. Also, like I mentioned earlier, Wix is a very versatile platform, whether you want it for a portfolio or have it function as an online store or something else. And while I do find that Wix's editor to be very intuitive, I also am sure that I only scratched the surface of what it's capable of. At the very least, I hope that this walkthrough was helpful for you and gives you some encouragement to kickstart your own art career or to push yourself in the direction you need to to elevate your career as well. A huge thank you again for Wix for sponsoring this video and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Bye!